Hey yo, what's poppin'? Shout out one more for the tier one. We about to play some Starbound unmodded. People are gonna be like, nah, you gotta play with the mods. You need this mod, you need that mod. That means the game sucks and is carried by mods. Something Terraria has in common. And they're trying to tell me it's not a Terraria clone. Come on now. <laughs> Alright, what the hell is it? What does Starbound even look like on the desktop? I have not clicked on this icon. Actually, I clicked on it for the clone video. I uninstalled all the mods. <laughs> Never done a full play through this game because it wasn't interesting enough to ever do one. Let's get it. Where the music at? We'll put it at 55, oh, 55 volume. The music took a little bit, but it's here. All right, everyone, you can stay. That guy can stay, he's cool. <clears throat> what is the best species in the game? I'm not trying to be racist and say there's a best race, but what is the best race? Humans. Like actually, I bet there's barely any benefits from either race I choose. I'm going to choose the monk. 
the races are purely aesthetic and cosmetic that's kind of not that cool i always thought that they added in a bunch of stuff to the races it's kind of boring <laughs> Unchecked show clothing. Whoa. Uh, he's wearing clothes. That's clothes, bro. Booba. How come, like... What the... <laughs> I like the naked monkey. The naked monkey is cool. Be glitch. I don't want to be glitch. I got to like complain about Rainbow Six all day and play League of Legends all day. All right. I'm going to play as a red monkey. Don't really care. Kaz Mir. The lengthy, the, oh, the long difficulty eat to survive, drop items on death. Hell no, we're playing on casual. Dropping items on death. What do you think this is? Minecraft? Skip intro. We'll play the intro mission, even though I literally just played it like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I'll play it again. Wake up. Wake up. My boy be snoozing. You snooze, you lose. Damn, he didn't open his eyes for like a solid minute. Brother, you eyes so tiny, goddamn. What is that? Graduation flyer. Junk. See, even the game knows this junk. I want the UI to be bigger. There's no option for the UI to be bigger? Okay. Minus one. Terrible game. Not as good as Terraria. Zoom in. Does that zoom in the UI or is that zoom the game? See, it zooms the game. Minus one, whoever just said that in chat. Ban him. Is this how fast I'm moving this game? I swear, don't you run in this? Give me the flower. Oh, so beautiful. So pretty. Is this the armor slot? It's an armor slot. Coming through. Monkey over here graduating, baby. My fellow protectors, today we come together to witness. Oh, too fast for me. Too fast for me. I'm not even going to read. I'm playing vanilla, of course. The greatest version of the game, right? Hell no, this is not my first time playing this game. You be stalking the Starbound section on Twitch, waiting for people to play it. I love Vanilla Starbound. It is the best game ever. Let me get that. This reminds me of the, um, the Plasma Cutter. Is that what it's called? in uh dead space
I don't want to miss the cape. Where's the cape at? That's my favorite item in the game is the cape. Terraria is just 2D star mount. Oh, God. Uh, okay, game froze for a second there. Hey, how's the audio? Is the audio fine? Oh, I'm going the wrong way, bro. Go, go, go. Sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it all. Let's go. Take it all. Oh. See, at least multiple people got out. Oh, oh. I take it back. Terraria should have an intro, and it should just be like your character falling from space. And you hit the floor. That's it. That's the intro. <laughs> This game is so good that we haven't gotten an update since 2019. This game is so good that the developer doesn't even pay his employees. Because he knows, like, their work is so good, like, you can't even put a price on their work. That's how good the game is. This dude is speaking so fast, like, I didn't even read the last, like, four dialogues. Yes, sir, I'll take the quests. Let's get it. Is this a two-handed sword that I'm rocking? Uh, what, what am I doing? <laughs> We're currently in orbit around an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged. We are unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet surface and teleport to surface supplies. Perhaps this is the ship. Got it. Hey. Don't. So. Alright, let's go find those st stupid crystals we gotta find. Damn, it's a, that's a big whatever it is. Bro, my, this game keeps freezing. Like, uh, <laughs> Is my PC not optimized enough to play Starbound or what? Like there's just random freezes that happen. I'm waiting for word to get out like that Relogic doesn't pay their employees so then I could really compare the two games. Oh yeah, I gotta break vines. Don't forget to break the vines. Let me do some real quick on my phone. Opinions on Kanye. 
uh, greatest rapper of all time. I grew up, my brothers were, my, one of my brothers is a very big fan of music. Because if you don't know, one of my brothers, you know, he, he makes music. So when I was growing up, you know, I heard a lot of good music. One of the, oh God, don't fall. One of the albums I remember listening a lot to when I was growing up was uh, Graduation from Kanye. And that's like my favorite album because I grew up listening to it. If you launch Starbound on 32-bit over 64, it's much faster. I gotta like choose in a, a launch option. It's fine as long as the game doesn't freeze like all the time like that. I, I don't care. So for all the people that have, oh god, it's freezing again. Okay, maybe I do have to do it. So for all the people that have played both Terraria and Starbound, what game do you think has the more interesting combat? I think a lot of people praise Starbound's combat too much for it not even being that like different or unique. Mind you, they had to like drop a whole update changing the combat because it was so boring and mundane. Okay, I might have to relaunch this game. It's freezing like a little too much. Like, I think the combat is, like, average. I don't think it sticks out. Maybe I've never gotten, like, cool enough weapons. Which is understandable. Probably wouldn't play the game long enough. To even get my hands on the cooler weapons. Okay, yeah, this freezing shit kind of annoying, bro. Terraria has a hard combat system to beat because there's so much variety. There's literally, what, four classes that you get to choose from. And then if you're a person that literally uses everything you get your hands on, like, you know how much variety in weapons you have? Hey, I don't want to make a torch. I need coal. I need wood. Ooh, I didn't get my hands on wood? How can I forget? Twitch just gave me five unskippable ads in a row. Well, you do have a Twitch Prime next to you. I'm just saying. You don't have to watch ads if you are sub to the channel. I have that option marked for subs. I feel like I could low-key not even defend myself after the time. <laughs> I feel like an enemy starts coming my way, like I'm guaranteed to get hit, bro. Quadruple that. Yes, sir. Alright. Uh, yeah, I might have to launch this game in 64-bit. Because that freezing shit is going to get annoying. It's happening too often. Does my character... I don't care if my character stays where I'm at. Where do I even, like, choose 64-bit? Like, where is that an option? There's mods in the workshop for optimization. <laughs> I had to download mods just to optimize... Hey, look at this, look at this. 69.9 hours playtime. Pog. I have to really download mods. Why? Why do I have to download mods? 
I thought you just said there was a 64-bit option. Starting 32 bit star bond instead of 64 bit. Setting VSync equals false. Moving star bound from an HDD to an SSD. Um, shit's already on an SSD, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, here we go. This didn't pop up when I launched it to the icon. There's 32-bit Starbound, and then that's it. Play Starbound, launch dedicated server, launch a mod uploader tool, play 32-bit. So I want to play 32-bit? Then I usually want to play on the higher one. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Wow, look, I, I, I started where I left off. This isn't a Terraria clone at all. <laughs> Damn, this music getting loud as fuck. All right. Back down we go. I got my torches. That should be enough. Walu said something interesting. I don't like how you can aim swords, but you can aim everything else. Oh god, I hate that the swords are so stiff. Why is the game so loud? Did they get the audio? I had to reset, bro. Yeah, it did reset. If you reset audio like that on me again, I swear to god, start man. I think next stream I'll probably play more Nessess. Try and finish that up. Not too long of a game. At least not currently. I don't think it is. Maybe it is long. Okay, stop for a second. Hit him with the spin attack, baby. What is that noise? Bro, I, I, I played this game before. You don't gotta tell me shit like that. When are you gonna do the between land stream? Never. I officially deleted the mod pack on my Curse Forge. It's never happening. Okay. It's good I ate some poisonous food to me. If I die, I die. It happens. Live in, I learn. Is there like a auto torch thing, bro? Okay, I don't actually want to die. <laughs> How long does this shit last? Ooh. 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 Oh, it's still freezing. Man, I wish the developers just paid the employees so this game wouldn't be freezing, I guess. Oh! Oh! Oh, stop. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Let me get tired of this damage noise. <laughs> Is the freezing just part of the starbound ex experience? I guess so. It must be.
This is the thing I brought up on one of those Terraria clone videos. I don't remember which one. Actually, I, I don't know if I left it in the video. I don't think I did. But, like, it's so weird how, like, jumping in games that are Terraria, like, is so floaty. Like, there's, like, zero precision when you're in midair. Like, I can't make a jump like that without fucking slipping off. <laughs> Why is it so floaty and slippery? I make that jump in Terraria easily. Yes, sir. All right, let's keep going down. Gotta keep going down. Gotta go find those core fragments. Wait, isn't it easier to just like find like a cave or something that has them? I'm doing it like the old school way. Back in my day, you'd have to go to like the core of the planet. What the fuck? Nowadays, you just go to like a mine shaft. You find everything there. Why does everything want to kill me here? Where are the friendly enemies at? Bro, why is everything I touch hurt me? They just want to kill me. They don't want to see me grinding. I like how the music's playing like filtered because I'm underwater. <laughs> Where's the scanning missions? You gotta give it some time. I don't think I've ever made it to the scanning missions. Because like I said, I don't think this game keeps my interest long enough for me to even get that far. What is that? I bet it's hostile. Who would have thought? Who? Right after the first boss, is it really? They can't be that bad then, because I've definitely gotten past the first boss. I've gotten to at least like the second or third boss. I definitely have beaten that Florian boss. What's up? hamster is that not just like an alt account Bro, i hate breaking these bones what is this they just keep stacking on top of each other bro i should have just went to the mine chef <laughs> i've gone to the mine chef fuck this I got so deep for nothing. Wasn't it nighttime when we got here? I feel like when I play Starbound, it's nighttime 99.9% .9 of the time. Like, is this a nighttime planet that I'm on? I hate playing games at night. It's so dark, I can't see shit. Not a good time of day to play video games. I'm not talking about IRL. This is a game that's got like bright night times. Whoa! This thing. My scans are picking up an unknown radio signal around this archaic energy source. I will patch it through to you now. 
If you pick up this message, you must have found an ancient gateway. Please use it to come and find me. You can probably get with core fragments. Don't have those, sorry. Got him. Low key, he got me too. Goddamn. What the fuck are those things? Are they hostile? I'm, I don't know if they were hostile or not. I just started swinging because they just started jumping towards me. So. I always like the, uh, the enemy. The way the enemies look in this game. I don't know if I could say that, like, they're really good enemy variation. It's like, I, the, the way they look is varied a lot, yeah. But, like, the way they attack doesn't really feel varied enough. Like, 90% of the enemies, they just run at you. So, I can't really say that, you know, they got really interesting attacks. Do these things hurt me? No, they don't hurt me. So I was just beating them up for no reason. <laughs> oh, we got a house. Random structure generation terraria could never. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> Hiker jacket, nice. Put that on. Bear hat? Spear. A little, little matter manipulator upgrade. You know what? Take this chest. We're going to use it for storage. Nice little bed right here. Take the bed. And you see the little owl clock? Take it too. It's a cool looking clock. I'm sorry. Mine now. I will say this game might have better vanity than Terraria. The vanity in this game is pretty is up there. It is up there. They got some good stuff. Like I already got a bear hat. Like come on now. Terraria Vanity is mid. The only thing that's bad about Terraria Vanity is when they're like, hey, I got this cool vanity I'm selling. Five platinum. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why? It's not even worth. Oh my god, do you guys see what I mean? How this game is so slippery? Did you see me just fly off right there? I tapped back once and I just went flying off. Slippery at. <clears throat> like, Terraria Vanity is still good, but when they're charging literally your source of cash that you need, money is very important in a game like Terraria. It's a little stupid, I'm not gonna lie. I think they should like make like a separate currency or just make it so you don't have to pay for vanities or make them cheap at least. Cause like, you like, oh, look at this princess vanity. I want to wear this five platinum. <laughs> Why is this so deep? Will I take fall damage? No. I got jubated though. I don't want to be down here. There's not even like a chest at the bottom. Yeah, there isn't. What the heck? Music is bumping. Music makes me feel like I'm really about to go on an adventure. <clears throat> Ooh. Swing, bro. Damn. <laughs> the 
You pay all your hard-earned money for a Christmas sweater. Oh, God. What in the hell? What's up, Extrilius? <gasps> I can see the light! I finally see the sun in Starbound. I could technically say I have never seen light in Starbound in literally years. Is there raining fire? I don't know if I want to see the light on this planet. That's why it's morally correct to dupe money in Terraria. Exactly. You are spitting some facts right now. There is literally no problem with duping money in Terraria. I can't believe how many people got mad at me for doing that in the Master Mode playthrough. It's like, bro, the game literally steals money from you. You literally use an RNG simulator to reforge your fucking items. <laughs> yeah. Me reforging my items is the equivalent of playing the lottery IRL. Hey stranger, if you're looking for core fragments, you might find a bunch down in this old mine. You should check it out. Core fragments are good for chemical reactions, so miners back in the day would use them to make bombs. I guess the miners left long ago though, because the mine's now overrun with creatures. I haven't seen a new face in some time. Do you want any tips on surviving? Because I have plenty. Okay, so I, I like the, the dialogue. The dialogue actually cool. The NPC is actually saying useful information and relaying it nice and clear. Wait, I picked up a weapon. Shade Co. Galaxy brand. That's my favorite brand of swords, actually. Wasted one of my spears. Oh, a pistol, a, a spear, I think, an actual spear. What's up, real? When I start getting like dashes and stuff. Get that off of my screen. Okay, hold on, hold on. time out. Let's take this spear out. I feel like this spear might be a better weapon. Now that's combat if I've ever seen it right there. I mean, that's kind of interesting. I'm doing like zero damage, but that's kind of interesting how I could like just stick the spear out. It's kind of like in Terraria how you could just leave the flail out kind of cool except for it did like one damage i'm just saying let me stab the developer with a spear and then let him tell me that that shit did one damage i'm just saying i'm just saying i'm just saying i don't mean any uh ill content by it but one damage Poking something with a spear? Come on now. I should be doing more than that. <clears throat> Where are my torches at? I'm out of torches. Did that tree just fall over? Did you hear that? Throwing dart. Let's get the throwing darts and the spears loaded up. Oh, I got a pistol. Put the pistol with the flashlight. Oh, yeah. Now we're playing Resident Evil. 
Bop, 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 bop. Oh, shit. I got to actually aim at them. I can't aim past them. What the heck? Am I using nerf darts or what? Jesus. <laughs> Who put the nerf darts in my pistol? Starbound has good art? Yeah. I do like the sprites in Starbound. It's like Elden Ring players getting mad at someone for using rune farms. That's a good example. It's a single player game. This does not affect multiplayer economy or anything. On oh God. That's why I always get mad when Terry developers nerf exploits. Or patch out exploits. It's like... Is it going to affect the, the massive multiplayer online portion of Terraria? Oh wait, there is none. Just leave it in. I love playing like old ass games. Or not even old ass games. Just games that don't patch out exploits. Because like they'd be so fun to like mess around with exploits and things. So when games take them out bro. That shit really does suck. What the heck was that attack? I don't know. <laughs> My game froze. The attack was too insane. It's like a little teleport. Kind of cool. That might be the coolest attack we've found. I'm not a fan of the gun aiming. I don't like having to aim directly at something. Especially since it's pretty much like a spraying prey weapon I'm using. Yeah, I like it better when they just don't move. That makes life easier. Took a little effort. <laughs> took, took me a couple tries to break that. I know there's a boss down here. I remember this boss. Uh-oh. Is this the boss? Oh, this has to be the boss. Don't freeze. Come on. You're doing so good when you don't freeze. No, no, no boss here yet. Quick nap. Yeah, I, I understand the Minecraft. Patching Minecraft. Minecraft is a way bigger game than Terraria. Better game? Debatable. Shoot the dev with a gun and ask him if he takes one damage. Facts. <laughs> Tell me. Tell me one damage after I pop you. That's what I always said about like the Fortnite developers. I'd be like, let me head tap you with a shotgun. Tell me that shit did 50. Just tell me. Ooh. I'll be honest right now. I'm not completely bored playing this. Starbound usually bores me pretty quickly, but like, I'm actually enjoying it. Genuinely enjoying it. Not paid to say this either. There's a couple of things that are annoying me, like the stuttering. Oh, it literally just happened as I literally, as stuttering came out of my, my mouth. It literally stuttered. That's crazy. We haven't gotten to an area that bores me. Once we get to something that actually bores me, then I'll bring it up that I'm actually bored. I'm an honest man, okay?
Take out the pistol. Damn. He knows how to hop. What's that boss at? I know there's a boss down here, right? Is that like the big, like yellow and black boss? It's a bigger version of those enemies we've been fighting. I know it's down here. I fought that boss a couple times. Prediction for how long the playthrough will last. Unless, like, the quest gets so boring late game that I literally cannot bear it. I could probably beat this. I'm not going to prioritize beating it. I'll have it as a, you know, little background thing. Because I want to beat Nessess first. I got a couple of games that I want to play through. Nessess, obviously one of them. We're working on that out. And then, uh... I want to play Minecraft Dungeons. I haven't played that in a minute. And then what else? Maybe one day I'll complete Arkville. <laughs> yeah, well, probably next stream. If I stream tomorrow, I'll probably play Nessus. Yeah, I'll probably will stream tomorrow. I'm going to post a Nessus video tomorrow, and then I'll probably stream it. Okay, well, this cave... Led to nothing. I still think it's cool how you could like hold this spear out like this. <laughs> I just wish it did a little bit more damage. When I was younger, MC over Terraria, but now I just can't play vanilla MC. I, I give a lot of praise to his 1.4 update because, like, I feel like 1.4 makes me able to play vanilla Terraria. Like, I was so tired of 1.3 that, like, I literally cannot touch vanilla 1.3. But, like, I'd be down to play vanilla 1.4. I don't have to now, thank God, since, you know, Team Muller 1.4 is finally here to stay. But like with 1.4 coming out, since I barely touched it, like I would, I was down to play it. vanilla. Cause there's still so much I haven't touched of 1.4. Okay. Just be careful. <laughs> a little bit higher of a cliff than I thought it was. starting to understand why people say like more games are uh they look like clones of starbound than they do of terraria but like if terraria doesn't exist then literally these games probably would not exist so that's why i say terraria clone over starbound clone All these games ain't better than Edge of Space. Facts. <laughs> Nothing can be Edge of Space. Edge of Space fans, stand up! Stop, Lumila. Get away from me. Hold up, there might be a chest over here. Are these dumbasses really stuck? Oh, they can jump. <laughs> This, can this guy not jump? No, he can. Mike Wazowski built ass. Or my bad, wrong one. Sully. Whatever the fuck his last name is. <laughs> How come I remember Mike Wazowski's full name, but I don't remember Sully's full name? Sully monster thing? Is that actually his name? See, that's why I don't remember. <laughs> you know what Edge of Space reminds me of? It reminds me of Tremor.
Edge of Space reminds me of Tremor. Starbound reminds me of Calamity. <laughs> Necess is the Thorium mod. Just a great piece of content just sitting there. Maybe even better. Maybe it's like the Spirit mod. James Sullivan? That's Sully's name? What the fuck kind of name? <laughs> Do I have enough cores? I wanted to fight the boss that's on this planet in the mine shaft, but we didn't find one. The planet exploration is really hit and hit or miss in Starbound, bro. Like I'll be hundred percent honest with you. If there's not some like cool structures or enemies I'm running into, I could care less about exploring the planet. Super Star Bond struggles with exploration. It could be a little boring. I'm not saying the terraria is any better. But it could be a little boring. This is how I imagine a star field is going to be like. There are like 1,000 planets to explore. They're all going to be like completely empty. Yeah, Bethesda promising a thousand planets to explore. They can't even promise a fucking release date. Teleport on him. I have no idea how that attack works. Hold up. High tech chess. Not too much high tech in it, but I'll take it. Fuck out of here. Oh, we're wrapping around. We are officially wrapping around. Okay, that is my call to get out of here. I guess no, no mini boss on this planet. Sag, I wanted to fight it. All right, do I have enough core fragments? What am I doing? Oh, I need more. I actually need more. Bro, how, how much more? Oh, okay. I got to go to that teleport. I forgot about that. I was about to say. Go, 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 go. Okay, non-hostile creature for once. Very surprising. Yeah, get out of here. Twenty. I might have to make like an actual pickaxe. Oh, I got an action figure? They got action figures in this game? They're gonna attack me. Yeah, I might need to actually make like a little something, something. Little inventor's table, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna make a house. I always felt like it's pointless to make houses in this game. Because it's like, what are you gonna do with that house? It is literally a planet exploration game. 
Wh where's the table I just crafted? Am I blind? A harp? When did I pick that up? Let's play some music. 12 days of Christmas. We're going to get copyright check. We wish you harp. Play it. job that's it you know, I'm not play anymore. <laughs> all right where did that crafting or enriches work go all I gotta be blind or something oh it takes a while to craft what the hell I don't remember the game being like that I thought you just instantly craft things. That's how it was before. Forging table. Yeah, let's make a workbench. Like, I might just have to make a pickaxe. Just because... The matter manipulator is so damn slow at first. Too damn slow for me. I need iron bars. So I need a workbench. Means I need a campfire. Terraria can learn a thing about the structures of on God. Terraria just needs more random structures in the world, man. I cannot see a reason for them saying no to adding something like that. Like, maybe they'll make some, like, Mojang bullshit. I still can't believe Mojang said what they said about uh, the frogs and the birch forest. Mojang is the new EA after the shit they said about frogs in the birch forest. I got Beth Bethesda over Mojang. Nah, that's impossible. Literally can't say that. Nah, but what they said was so stupid still. <laughs> They said it was just concept art. We don't have to add in things from concept art. What the fuck? They literally added in everything else from the concept art. <laughs> Goofy ass yeah, company. make what was I making anvil timber I'm on it okay. got the anvil wait not yet don't have don't have it yet now I got it And now, oh my god, this is a big ass crafting station. And now, can I make a pickaxe? This is where you don't make a pickaxe. Is there even pickaxes in this game anymore? Don't tell me I did all this for no reason. <laughs> pickaxes are not in this game anymore? Oh, okay, okay, good, good, good. I, I was about to say. I was about to say, like I, I didn't remember playing that long ago. They completely removed pickaxes. <clears throat> uh, wh where's the pickaxe? 
I have been lied to. <laughs> Ho. Moth trap scarecrow. What? I have been lied to. Slandered. Libel. Did that shit not say mining in the description? Used to produce items for hunting, mining, and farming. Uh, so pickaxes aren't in this game anymore? Bro, what the? This game literally changes every time I play it. I remember the tutorial, the tutorial, the OG one was like, or, there's a lot of OG tutorials. This game's had like six tutorials. The game was like, hey, go to the planet, collect resources, get food, make a campfire, get a pickaxe, get iron armor, then go find core fragments. I'm telling you, this game changes every big update. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Sorry, didn't mean to shoot my gun. Don't get scared. How far do I got to go to get these fragments? Plant matter. Everything about Starbucks makes me want to play it, but I only think that when I'm not playing the game. Had a ton of wasted potential. Oh God. That's all I didn't see like the whole story about Starbound. Wasted potential. What it could have been. Further, how deep do I gotta go <clears throat> until I see like lava? Well, that was a far fall. I remember like my favorite, jeez, I remember my favorite like dungeon to find in this game is like the sewer dungeon that's got like the poop monsters in it. Where the fuck are we? Mods or no mods of vanilla. That's facts about the UI. I'm playing the vanilla because I want to do like a review video. Oh, don't miss that chest. I want to do a video that's going to be called like, is Starbound really worth playing or something like that? Is Starbound even a good game? So I gotta but play it through vanilla. I don't think I've ever beaten the game. I don't even know if you can technically beat the game. But I wanna play through it with vanilla. See how it is. Give people an honest opinion. And I'm also gonna trash the game to hell with the cons. And I'm also going to praise it with the pros. And the only I'm, the only reason I'm doing this is because you Starbound fans were acting up on the Terraria clone video. So now you get, now you get what you get. I'm going to have to trash your favorite game in front of your eyes. Ooh, 
I, I really didn't mean to just jump like that. <laughs> it kind of just happened. Hold up. Yeah, speak about grappling hooks. Let me make some ropes. Ropes make life a little bit easier. Anything up there? Down we go. We're in new territory. We are in the crimson. <laughs> you can't tell me this ain't the crimson. Listen, Starbound used to be good in early access. I don't know what happened. See, keyword used to be good. You get the cube world story, all right? Shoulda, woulda, coulda, used to be. The cube world story. What the fuck? Over here. I don't know what the hell I'm fighting. Let's break the tree. What, what, what type of tree is this? Yeah, you can break the you can break the background by right clicking. Mmm, bloody puss. Mmm, my bad, puss. I had different things on my mind in this bar. Damn, I need some upgrades on this slow ass thing. Bro, where the hell are the core fragments at? What are those? Bro, I, I don't want to mine bones. It's going to take forever to mine bones. Look at this. Look at this. How am I supposed to go deeper in a biome like this? How the fuck are you alive? Oh, they split into pieces. I just noticed that. Bro, dude, I feel like the intro of this game is not supposed to be this long. <laughs> I just want to move on to like the space station but I'm down here looking for core fragments for an hour more than an hour we just got like terrible RNG at the mine shaft bro atrocious RNG I only found 18 core fragments in the mine shaft not even the boss wanted this one Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that shit makes me mad as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, well. <laughs> back down we go. I don't even know where that was. Like, where did I start going down? Somewhere over here to the right. Quick game freeze. Why the hell is there so many enemies? All right, let's make like 30 ropes. What? 
Down we go. Hello. Oh! You're fucked up. I was just literally hanging around. <laughs> I still took fall damage. Taking some light fall damage, you know how it is. Bro, I made it to the, the core fragment area. Just to fucking die. I made it all the way where I was supposed to. Down we go. Fuck off. Ah! Bro! <laughs> I remember these falls being as fucking long. Okay, now I'm really starting to get heated. I like the crafting, how they change the crafting and be like a fucking bar. Like it used to be like instant. You craft something, it was instant. I like how the game freezes like in the same spot like every single time. Here we go, slowly but surely. Okay, took damage because the game froze. I don't even want to play this game anymore. Turn off V-Sync settings. I gotta do it outside of the game. What a dumbass game. What the fuck? I went past the platforms? Why is there so many enemies? Platforming so slippery. I almost fell into the hole again. <gasps> Bro, <laughs> I'm tired of this. If I die one more time, I'm ending stream. Why couldn't I just find like a mine shaft filled with core fragments? I'm being tortured. I 
I should have dug down right where I spawned in the planet. Okay, at least there isn't a billion enemies here. Bro, what the fuck? Fucking slow as hell because I fall down and die every time if I don't. Bro, drop down. This is how far I can reach. I need this uh, matter manipulator upgraded. Okay. Made it. I don't know what direction I went in. Let's go this way. Okay, this is the right direction. <gasps> Jesus, bro. I always fall right there. a platform or two right there put a torch up there too so I can actually see it where do I go from here I go left okay no I don't go left I go right put a torch right here drop down this should be safe to drop down game freezing Goofy uh, enemy. You know what this enemy look like? Looks like a uh, what's his name? Casminicus. <laughs> Is that the bard? That's what that guy looks like. Got the same hair. This game really has a slow start. Like it should have went faster, but like. The RNG screwed me over. I didn't get enough uh, fragments from that mine shaft. It was a really tiny mine shaft. Usually, you're supposed to be like a mini boss in it too. I didn't even find the mini boss. But like, I'm, I'm about to hit like the the hour thirty mark on just the beginning of the game. Can't reach that. Come on. I'm playing this shit like I'm playing like Super Meat Boy. I'm playing this shit like I'm playing fucking. What happened? Can the game stop freezing? No reason, no reason the game should be freezing, bro. Like, what? Why? Why is the character move like that? <laughs> Slippery ass movement, bro. They're trying to kill me. We got some core fragments, though. Finally. I'm going to get a bunch of extra because I have no idea how much I need. And I don't feel like coming back down here. Motherfucker got Vaseline on his feet. Oh my god, he got something. Need to find some new shoes for my character. Bro, 
this are what platforms are for and then what do ropes do? I mean the ropes are useful but like the platforms are safer. I would have to keep crafting ropes every time I died. I don't have to keep crafting platforms. Yeah, my starting planet had a really tiny mine. And there wasn't the pop top boss in it. Any other time I played the intro, the that boss was usually there, but not this time. It's kind of upsetting because I wanted to fight it. <laughs> Remember when you could use like anything for fuel for your ship? Now you gotta get like a specific fuel. Alright, I'm gonna get this big batch right here and this should be enough. I could always come back down here. I made a safe route to come down here. So I'm not too worried about coming back down. Bro, that's good enough. I'm too lazy. I just want to get out of this fucking tutorial. Or it's not even a tutorial. It's just like first quest. forward in the game you appear to have successfully activated the gate and it seems another message is coming through lay it on me what's the message say please come i originally require help the universe depends on it use this ancient gateway and meet me in the ark ruins just past the outposts I'm here. My favorite, the outpost. This is where I've been wanting to go. We finally made it. What's up? We got some other survivors here. Soggy paper. I'm not gonna talk to anyone yet. I know there's quests and stuff here, but let me let me do the main quest first. All right. This is probably my favorite area in Starbound is the outposts. It's just a cool area. Hello. Hello, dear. Is that a matter manipulator you're carrying? No, I'm not going to do that voice. <laughs> Sorry to say, perhaps the last after the, the terrible destruction of Earth. Sadly inevitable that we should meet now. I just talked to someone that said they escaped off of Earth. My name is Esther Bright, retired Grand Protector. I left some years ago, an impossible decision, but my research cannot be neglected. I discovered things long forgotten that weigh heavy on the present. Long ago, there was a force known as the Cultivator. It maintained balance in the universe. Under its influence, harmony reigned, so it was for eons. 
but this tranquility provided fine that's not how you say that a being arose one of hate too fast bro i i read slow the ruins cannot abide life in any form and reap destruction upon the universe it fought to blot out all life and would have succeeded but for the sacrifice of the cultivator. The cultivator rose against the ruin and succeeded in sealing it away. The cultivator killed himself for no reason because the shit just came back. <laughs> but in doing so, the cultivator exhausted its power completely. Before its last energies dissipated, the cultivator gifted six chosen races with precious artifacts. Damn, so the cultivator was racist. These six artifacts, when united, form the key that opens the gate to the room. The defenses are crumbling. We must unite the artifacts, which the ruin and truly destroy. It. This is a lot to take in dear and a huge request to make of you, but I would like your help. Look, I'm, I'm starting to beat the, the speed of the text. The artifacts are scattered across the stars. I can't find them all. We must find them and eradicate the ruin before the other planets go the way of Earth. Bro, Earth already destroyed. There's no point. They killed the coolest planet. First things first, though, you need a ship in good working order. Who knows how far you'll travel before we're done. I think you should return to the outpost and speak to the Penguin Pete. My boy, Penguin Pete. Let's go talk to the homie, Pee Pee. Penguin Pete, is he down here? Seems like a Penguin Pete sort of area. Oh. Maybe I should have checked the main area. Check the main area. You look like a Penguin Pete. Oh, okay. Out back. Got it, got it. We got a Penguin Pete out here. No way your name is Penguin Pete. You're not even a penguin. This dude's name is Penguin Pete? He's not a penguin. I received the coordinates for the Arceus mining facility. If you return the ship, you can tell we're there. Uh, I could repair that ship, but it's going to take 20 Arceus crystals. You better get yourself to the Arceus mining facility. I've sent the location to your ship sail. Thank you. I want to go use those. All right. I guess since we're here, we can start just snagging up some quest lines. Might as well talk to the barkeeper down here. The penguin barkeeper. Help me out, would you? Business around here hasn't been so great since all my regulars are on the run from Dreadwing and his gang of crooks. Can you go and defeat Dreadwing for me? Come speak to me when you're ready. I'll send you right to him. Yeah, we're not going to fight Dreadwing yet. Dreadwing might be a little, a little too tough for us right now. I've been developing technology that will enable the users to swiftly dash from one point to another, but I'm lacking a few crucial components from a prototype. Can you help me by bringing me 10 copper bars? I'm on it. You brought me the parts. Wonderful. The dash tech should be ready for action, but there's only one way to be sure. My dash tech needs to be properly tested before I can go into mass production. Would you mind putting it through its paces on my obstacle course? Talk to me again when you're ready. Let's get it. This is cool. I like this. I like these little tests that you do with the dashing, the one where you turn into a ball. Damn. 
Damn it. I'm too slow. He's too quick. He's the fastest man alive, Barry Allen. I definitely clicked on that, but you know, it's fine. I'll click on it twice. The dash tech appears to be functioning perfectly wonderful. Please keep the tech is talking about things. I also have other protests need testing, so come see me again when you're ready. The console's room is configured to alter the tech abilities you have. Bro, like. <laughs> Give me a second to fucking read. I've been working on a new piece of tech that enables the user to perform a jump in midair, allowing them to reach incredible new heights. Okay, Christ, 10 silver bars. I don't think I have 10 silver bars, sadly. Or else I would. Them cheeks clapping when dashing. Yeah, you said it, not me. My little dipper lost his dear teddy bear. I just can't finish setting up a shop with him like this. Can you help me get a new teddy bear? Bruh. He's like, huh? Ah? Need a bounty hunter? I could use the pixels. Oh, my bad. I was shitting. Is the teddy bear like on this planet? Or in this area? I don't remember. can't make that jump it's too far anybody seen a teddy bear anywhere you have to make one what the hell you got a teddy bear for sale no, sir. All right, let's go. Uh, I'm gonna do this one, the the Urkius one. Nice and easy quest line. I've done this quest a billion times. Yeah, my inventory is not that full yet. We're fine. I, I don't have to clear out anything. Isn't this the boss one yet? Yeah. It's the first boss. It's easy. Quite a little bit of brain power. What y'all got? I'm about to shit in here. Just kidding. Got PTSD from falling down though. I didn't want to fall down too fast. All right, let's see how much damage the enemies take here. Got my little pistol ready. Okay, they they do decent damage. I maybe should have made armor. Motherfuckers actually hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Could potentially be a problem. I just gotta be smart. All right.
Honestly, actually, their melee hits kind of hurt too. <laughs> I was gonna say, their melee hits don't seem that bad, and then I got hit by a melee hit. I didn't hit any of them? If I die, I will go take time out of my day to make some armor. Okay, I'm about to die because that was a garbage ass teleport. Jesus. What kind of teleport was that? You stupid bitch. <laughs> You're supposed to hurt him with the teleport. Let me sit up real quick here. Don't be freezing while I'm in the middle of a fight. Oh, I can't eat anything else. Do I have like any other decent weapons? Not really. I got that weak ass one handed sword I could use. Look at him. Can't reach me. What is he doing? He was so angry he couldn't reach me. He started doing a weird, a weird ass pose. I'm about to die. I don't know how I'm still alive. If I'm being 100% honest. Oh, he's I'm hanging on by a thread. I got you. I got you. You're welcome. I saved your life. Where are you going? This is what happens when you dig too deep. Nah, I was expecting like a thank you or something. Thank you, Casimir, for saving me. That's kind of what I was expecting. Keep our distance, bro. We're chilling. We are chilling. I figured out the strategy. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Good killing. What's down here? Oh my god, there's so many people in here. Oh, good killing, boys. I kind of did all the work, but good job. Oh, hold up. What did I just pick up? A rocket launcher? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> this is a good weapon to pick up. What a great weapon to get my hands on. I missed. Now nah, stay back there, demon. Can I get up here? No. Damn, there's still a lot of enemies. I got him. I got it under control. Don't worry. Just give me some time. And I got it under control. Where, where are they all jumping to? I'm on like a Mario map right now. You look like the OG Mario Bros map. What's 
what's over here? Is this even the right way to go? Is this like an alternate path? What am I doing? Got him. Look away for two seconds. You guys a bazooka. You're definitely looking away for more than two seconds. I got you. Oh my god. You were gone for like a solid like five minutes. I counted every minute. Oh, hold up. Secret? Gotta get my secrets. Space suit. Am I going the right way? Oh, I am going the right way. I don't want to go the right way. <laughs> I wanted to explore. Okay, so this leads back around to where I was. So, let's wrap around back this way. Then. What the fuck? Bro. Are the enemies respawning? That's not cool. Whatever, they can respawn. I came back with an RPG. Yeah, I know there's like a whole spacesuit you can get here. I think you might need to have the little ball technique or whatever tech. So I don't know if I'll get my hands on it. Headshot. Got him. They don't know how to get up here. See the chest down here, yes sir. We got the pants. I don't think I'm gonna get the last part. I don't have the ball technique. Uh -oh. What's up there? Hold up, what is up there? <laughs> Can I place platforms? I can't. What about a rope? Can I use a rope? You gotta be something up there. What is up here? What? Absolutely nothing. What does that teach the player? That teaches the player don't even fucking explore. There's no point. That is a Luigi's Mansion moment right there. I used my brain to get somewhere new and then I got rewarded nothing. So for in Luigi's Mansion, you would get coins at least. Luigi's Mansion 3. I remember Luigi's Mansion 3, I'd be doing a whole ass puzzles just for the game. Be like, here's some coins. You thought it was a trophy? Nope, here's some coins. It's like, bro, what? No, turn the light on. I think I know where the... Oh, shit. I think I know where the, uh, the helmet is. I should have just got a bunch of ore for the ball technique, bro. I fumbled that. Ooh. 
Are you kidding me? How did I make the jump? I made the jump the first time, but not the second time. Yeah, I think the, the last spacesuit part is up here. Wait, no, maybe it isn't. I don't see anything. Have I gone down here? Oh, I found it. I don't need the ball technique. Let's go. Spacesuit gang. I got to put it on. Yes, sir. What is that? It's a chest over there. I want it. Maybe that's the one you need the ball technique. Hold up. Wait, I went up here, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, my boy got a hammer. Okay, can the game not freeze like that? The game like froze to the point where the enemy is literally in front of me. Do that shit ever. I could have died. Get out of the bed. I want to sleep in the bed. No, get out. I want to sleep. No, get out. Yeah. <laughs> I want to sleep in the bed so I get the health. What's up, Lankman? Oh, look, I found a pickaxe. Who's trying to get hit by this RPG? What does right clicking do with this? Slowly but surely. Damn, that lunge attack. Oh, there's another one. Boys, I'm going I'm to bring this guy up here, okay? Help me out. Let's get him, boys. Get him, boys. Yes, sir. Good killing. Helpful. Very helpful set of boys right there. Shout out to them. Everybody good till the monkey pull out the rocket launch. Oh God. Hold up. There's one more thing. Spacesuit backpack. Can't forget about the spacesuit backpack. I got the whole spacesuit ready. Look, if I turn into a ball, can I go down there, bro? Ball technique moment? I don't have the ball technique, though. I'm going to change some spaces up here, okay? Just so... We can fight the Urkius, no problem. Look, ball technique moment? It's gotta be, bro. Let's get it! This is a cool boss fight. I like how you fight this boss. Mm -hmm. 
don't be freezing. Come on now. I could have made it back down in time and shot him. Go, 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 go. Got him. We're going back the other way. I meant to go this way anyways. Stop freezing. We going back the other way. I meant to go this way. I should be able to get it this time. No problem. Unless my character has trouble getting down the platforms. Got him. I'm ready. Next round. Nice and easy. Got those two. Don't hurt me. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Watch this move right here. Oh my god, he's a genius. He's so good at the game. You destroyed the monster. I was trapped inside of it. <sighs> Bro, I don't read that fast. Did anyone else in the mind survive this attack? Yes. Keep following me. Are you following me? All right, let's skedaddle. Nice and easy. Oh, 20 iron bars. Mountain guard. Give me a nice little shield. Damn, that was loud. What the? Hold up. Any other goodies? Okay, let's get mining. Yes, sir. Okay, I don't even gotta touch that. This is fun. Back to the outposts. Dog barking moment. It's a pretty good first quest. I like that first quest. Pretty fun. That dog need to shut the hell up. Perfect. These do. Blah, blah, blah. Perfect. These will do the job. I'll go ahead and fix your ship right up. Yes, sir. Damn. They got it. They got it in the end. That's all that matters. Look at that. He sells hover bikes. Pog. Khaki hover bike. My favorite. What is this thing? Ugly hat. Hey, look. The Terra Mart is open. Pet houses, Terra Mart shipments. Interesting. Talk to Esther. Esther can kiss my ass. I'm not talking to her. <laughs> Give me a second. Naked, naked monkey with the mask on. Naked monkey with the vest on. I need some sort of pants. Just give me any pants. There you go. I look like a whole ass superhero with this outfit. I got a lot of blueprints. Damn, I got a lot of duplicate blueprints. How much fuel do I have? No fuel? Stop.
Upgrade module. Upgrade module. Um, how do I upgrade my shit? How do I upgrade my uh, matter manipulator? No idea. Put up this graduation flyer to show everyone that I graduated. Wait, no, you can't even put it up? What? That's sad. Put up my action figures so everyone knows that I collect action figures. All right. What are you doing, Starbound? Stop playing it because it isn't as fun as Terraria. That's what you do. Made in London, UK. I'm done playing for now. We did the first quest. I would have played more if uh, Lily didn't take us forever <laughs> to find the core fragments. Stream tomorrow, maybe, probably. We'll see.